Mr. Speaker, I also rise today to celebrate National FFA Week. The National FFA organization was founded by a group of young farmers in 1928 as the Future Farmers of America. Their mission was to prepare future generations for the challenges of feeding the world. Today, more than 760,000 blue corduroy jacket wearing FFA members in more than 8,700 chapters across the country and more than 9,600 members in 220 chapters in Kansas alone are still working hard to advance our nation's most critical industry, food and agriculture. These members are future farmers, ranchers, engineers, doctors, lawyers, teachers, scientists, communicators, and business people. They are the next generation of leaders. This week, they will celebrate National FFA Week as a long-held tradition during George Washington's birthday to respect agriculture heritage and recognize its future. As a past chapter FFA president from Quinter, Kansas, and a proud FFA alumnus, I'm honored to join nearly 80 of my colleagues to introduce House Resolution 150, expressing support for the designation of the February 20th to February 27, 2021, as National FFA Week. Recognizing the important role of the National FFA organization in providing the next generation of leaders who will change the world and celebrating 50 years National FFA alumnus and supporters. Kansas FFA and the National FFA organization have had a profound impact on me. FFA taught me belonging the first time I put on my own FFA jacket, responsibility when caring for my family's livestock in the bitter winters and drought-ridden summers, and pride in sharing about the organization I love on the House floor today. Because of FFA and the next generation of agriculture, I know our brightest days are ahead. Happy National FFA Week. Thank you. I yield back.